you consider the matter, what's it to be? Aye, I'll do it for a shilling and not a penny less. You'll do it for sixpence, fellow, or not at all. Is it a bargain? You swear you'll be back within half an hour? Before the foam's gone off that pint. Well, you've drained the ale that's inside it. Well? Aye, right, well, Governor. Oh, I'm a fool to myself for not demanding twice as much. You did. Yeah. Little dicks, fella. It's the easiest money you've ever earned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see the colour of the cash first. Here, hold on, Governor. Sixpence, you said. There's only fourpence here. Aye. Right. Fourpence there. Tuppence more for the ale that's in the tankard. Did you think I'd made you a present of it? There's hardly a molehill. They promised. promised faithfully they'd save me some. Oh, promises. Promises. They talk to me about their promises. How many times have they promised us doors and windows that actually open and shut? And drawers that work. And a staircase that goes somewhere. And a piano that plays. And pink blancmange. Oh, oh, shut, shut up. up. Well, what's the use of a new frock without a looking glass to see yourself in? Nothing in here works. You do realise, don't you, that once they put us in here, we're trapped. If there was a fire out there ever, we'd be doomed. There's a fire out there now. Oh, well, that settles it then. We're doomed. <laughs> wish out, Master Gerald. You have to wish out to make it work. Now, Flo, you've got to do it in one breath. <laughs> that wants a slice of cake, find a plate and line up here alongside me. I think I really wished for it. It was to do with you-know-who, wasn't it? Do you wish we could help them get back home? I wish, I wish your wish comes true. No, I say, here's a rum go, thank you, thank you. Look, look, this has just come by van. There's nothing on it to tell us who or what or why or where it came from. Strange, I could have sworn I'd seen that van man somewhere too. A toy balloon. You stole the housekeeping allowance, Harwell, and frittered it away on a plaything to give to the gas stunt and brats. Borrowed, Sarah. Nearly borrowed the housekeeping. In that case, you can go out and you can borrow some food. That money was intended to provide our sustenance for the rest of the month. A pittance, sister. I've put it to better use. That hot air balloon was an investment. It will keep us for the rest of our lives. There are times, Harwell Mincing, when I could go down on my knees and thank my maker that our mother did not live to see this day. But I swear you grow crazier by the hour. Listen to me, Sarah. That toy was not as innocent as it seems. I've rigged it so that the mooring ropes will break the moment the wind takes hold. Crazier and crazier. What do you hope to gain, pray, by ensuring that a toy balloon is carried away by the wind? I thought I'd told you that already. Our fortune, Sarah. I shall have a cabman standing by and I shall follow that balloon across town and country until it runs out of fuel. And then... All right. And what then, brother? Tell me, but I cannot bear the suspense much longer. Why, then, sister, when it comes down to earth, I shall be there to capture the tiny, sly-booted creatures. You are referring, I take it, to those 
little people that you're still convinced exist? How many times must I tell you, woman, they are real? Real or figments of your imagination? Who's to say they'll be riding in your precious balloon? You'll see, sister. Why, those little heathen devils, they'll, they'll be at each other's throats to be the first into the basket. Can you guarantee that it will be safe? Of course I can. Read them what it says in the box, Lou Philippa. A unique and thoroughly instructive aerial device of educational value for children of all ages. We are not children. Manufactured by Joe Shuttleworth and Co. Established 1842. There, you see? Josiah Shuttleworth's been selling them for over 50 years. Okay. Selling them, young man, is one thing. Going up in them is something else entirely. If you're too frightened to go up in it, you should have told us before we started. Who said anything about fear, young man? The word fear is not in our vocabulary. Yes, it is. He's terrified of spiders. My size spiders I treat with contempt. Your size spiders I approach with justifiable caution. But right. And I suggest that we approach this venture in a similar spirit. As leader of this expedition, I, um, um, I shall choose three straws, and she who picks the shortest goes. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> Seems fair. Good. <laughs> <laughs> It's working, Phil. It's beginning to float. It's rising, Fistrum. I can feel it leaving the ground. <laughs> Hold on tight. Farewell, Parker Red Weasel. Farewell, bird woman, conqueror of foreign skies. What do you mean, farewell? Shall we down again in a couple of minutes? I, I was overwhelmed by the case, Fistrum. I never thought I'd live to see the day when a compatriot of mine would take off and soar up, up and away into the blue. I've got goosebumps all over. I know exactly how you feel, this one. It's the, um, the solemnity of the moment. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's the thought that soon I'll be up there. Give me a hand with the pouring red pistol. Excuse me, Governor. What is it, man? Is this going to take much longer, Governor? Only I do have an important prior booking. Curse you, cabman. You'll not be out of pocket, and I promise you. If my afternoon's work proves fruitful. Enjoying herself so much. Something's gone wrong. What's she doing? Pull her down. Pull her down. No, not now. Don't disturb it. Welcome. Guaranteed safe. <laughs> Follow that balloon, cabman, and drive like the wait for me. She land. From the nest. <laughs> Don't move. Stay there. We'll get you down. Somehow. Goodness, how rooks have to build a 
this nest up there. Where do I think they're going to? The nonsense fish from it's blocked. I, I heard Millie saying the chimney sweeper was coming. Today? Yes. I, I, I've just remembered. Well? Sure, this is the right chimney. Positive! A pigeon flew down it once. It joins up with the one in Grandfather's studio. The chimney in the dining room leads up through the nursery. Are you sure you can manage it? My dear young man, I was born on a mountainside. My childhood companion was a mountain goat. I am Spellbush Freelock. Mountaineering to me is second nature. Then start climbing. He's right. We should go now before that rook comes back. Ah, are you trying to kill me? Be careful. Where you put your feet. waiting for I'm thinking of you and your little legs just in case who's got little short legs look at those bricks hmm. how do you think you're going to climb them look I... oh. oh come on I'll give you a hand it's from... oh come on uh, and what might you like to find up there, uh, the pair of you? <laughs> it's a bit early, isn't it, for Santa Claus? What were you looking for? Nothing, Nothing Millie. You won't find it in here, then. So you'd best look for it somewhere else. Go on off with you. I can't be having you under me feet. I've got a fire to light in here. You can't, Millie. You can't I just? Well, you mustn't. I must too, Miss Philippa. I've got my orders from the master. Oh, come on, stand aside. I've no time for playing games with you. Please, Millie, don't! Not this afternoon. Well, ain't that just my luck? Here's me about to lay a fire, and I bet that's that Chimberley sweep decided to honour us with his presence. And it's this here Chimberley as he's come to attend to, so you two can op it double quick. Bistrom Spellbush! You've got to come back! We heard you! Chimney sweeps going to sweep the chimney. It'll take too long to get back. See, we'll have to push on. Oh, we're missing. Can you hear us? It's all right, sir. It'll be the chimbley sweep at long last. Oh. I'll attend to him. Good girl, Millie. Well, now, gentlemen. Proceed with the study. Does it hurt? Hurt? An artistic photographic portrait? <laughs> of course it doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, no. Well, no more than you'd imagine. I'm eating so much dirt, I feel like a cockroach. Ah, don't make jokes, Hester, it's dangerous. It's... Ah. 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 Oh, I'm going to fall off. Don't move your leg oh. Do you know what I think? I think the rook's nest is on top of the other chimney. 
one that leads up from the dining room. Don't you rush, Master Gerald. I think he's right. And I think you're a couple of young teasers. I reckons I've swept sufficient chimbleys in me time to know which one leads to where. Ain't that right, Slavey? Here you are. Let's see your lip. I'm an housemaid, I am. Not a slavey. Aye. You know, I wish I had a penny for every chimney this here brush has been up. And I ain't never been up a wrong one yet. It ain't luck, this game, you know. It's good judgment. <clears throat> I'll tell you what is luck, though. Kissing is sweep. Well, that's lucky. I told you once. Listen your cheek. You young tiddlers, how's this for a treat? Nip out into the garden and watch for me brush head coming up out of the chimney. And when it does, give us a yell. Oh, spell bush the other way. Oh, right. oh, don't just stand there. Spit side. That's better. Uh, uh, do it. Off you go, then. Oh! Oh! hasn't come through yet. But there's no sign of Fisherman's Spellbush either. Oh, I do hope nothing's happened to Broker. Look! Oh no! Eyesight. It's not turned up yet. 
Has it got to? piece of grouping, even if it's me that says so. Yes. Now, if I might have your most sublime expressions, please. Good, and quite still. And now. <laughs> oh, dear, what have you done? Now I shall have to take another one. Thank you. 